We've all heard it. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. But is it really true? All right, so you might have noticed new background kind of bootstrap setup. I'm in beautiful Lisbon, Portugal, one of the most charming cities in the world. Can't complain. Say. All right, enough of the travel guide, back to the science. The story goes a little something like this. LDL is bad cholesterol. It raises our risk of heart disease. HDL, now that's good cholesterol. It pulls cholesterol out of our arteries, so it protects us from heart disease. That's a simple enough story. Very Hollywood, good against bad, easy to remember. According to that story, we want to keep our LDL low and our HDL high. And maybe if my LDL is high, maybe it doesn't even matter that much as long as I raise my HDL. Kind of cancel each other out, everybody's happy. Just one tiny problem, it's not true. When we look at population studies, yeah, LDL levels correlate with heart disease. The more LDL, the more heart disease. And HDL does show the opposite trend. The higher the HDL, the less likely people are to suffer from heart disease. So far, so simple. But when scientists tested this idea more directly, things weren't quite that simple. LDL was confirmed to be problematic. If you keep it down with a drug or with healthy diet, your risk of heart disease is also lower. We've covered that in previous videos. Also, people who carry certain mutations in their DNA that give them low LDL from birth have crazy low rates of heart disease, up to 10 times less than the average population. So LDL really is a bad boy. Check. How about HDL? Is it true that it's protective? Raising it using certain drugs does not seem to help. No protection. And people with mutations giving them high HDL aren't better off either. So when we look at all the evidence put together, the current understanding is that raising our HDL doesn't seem to help. How about that idea that raising our HDL makes up for having high LDL? L-O-L. Okay, time out. That's a little confusing. In the population studies, people with high HDL had lower risk of heart disease. But raising our HDL doesn't help? How could that be? Maybe HDL is just a marker. It goes up together with other factors that are protective, but raising HDL itself doesn't do much. If this sounds a little unsatisfying to you, let me tell you, I think it's great news. Anytime something is shown not to matter, it simplifies things for us. We used to not have enough access to information a generation ago. Now we have too much. People get lost in all the noise and the things that really matter are overlooked. So any chance to reduce the noise is a win in my book. There's nothing I like more than making a video about something you can stop worrying about. Raising our HDL doesn't seem to help, so we can stop worrying about it. We can focus our energy on getting that LDL down. That's the guy to beat. Focus equals results. LDL really is bad cholesterol. And as for good cholesterol, the only good cholesterol is keeping LDL low under 75 milligrams per deciliter in that sweet spot where your risk of heart disease is essentially non-existent. I'll see you on the next one.